Hi, let's see how we can use formulas inside submission forms to calculate monthly payments on a car loan and get the total cost of a car loan. So let's see how the form behaves. Let's assume that you're a first time car buyer and everybody knows if you're buying a car for the very first time, credit unions will give you a slightly higher interest rate. So let's assume that they give you a $50,000 loan at a whopping interest rate of 9.0. And over 72 months, you're going to be paying $900 per month. And over the period of 72 months, you're going to end up paying $64,000, almost $65,000 for their entire car loan, which obviously we know it's not a good deal because you're going to end up paying almost $15,000 on top of the original loan. What's nice about this form, you can see these computations in real time. So even if I adjust the loan period to, let's say, 84 months, you can see the behavior. If I change the interest rate to, let's say, 5.0, you get to see your monthly payments, so you can play around with this calculator, if you will, to get your desired interest rate and also your monthly payments, including the total cost of the car loan. To calculate the monthly payments, we're going to use this formula on the right-hand side, and in a few minutes, I'm going to show you how to use this formula inside Caspio to get this monthly payment. To calculate the total cost of the car loan is very easy. All you need to do is take the monthly payment times the loan period, and that's going to compute the total cost of the car loan. So let's go to Caspio and let's learn how we can use this formula to calculate the monthly payment. First, let me show you my table. And inside my table, I have a total of six fields. My first field is the ID, which will automatically or uniquely identify each submission inside the table. Then I have the loan amount. I'm using the currency data type so that we can accept a numerical value. I have interest rate, which is set to a number data type because a number data type can accept decimals. Loan period, which is set to integer data type. A loan period is going to be a whole number. It's going to be anywhere from 36 months to 84 months, and it's never going to include a decimal. And then we have monthly payment and total cost. And both of these two fields include a currency data type, which is also a numerical value, and we can perform some calculations on this type of a data type. Next, let's go to my data pages. And here I have two data pages. I have my live example, the one that I just demoed a few minutes ago. And I have my second form, which doesn't have those formulas yet. So let's click on Edit. And let's navigate all the way to the Configuration screen. And what you'll notice inside this field, Monthly Payment, it's still set as a text field. And if you look at my live example, you will see how both of these two fields are not making any calculations just yet. So we need to now inject that formula in order to get that monthly payment. So back inside Caspio, let's change the form element to what's called a calculated value. And now let's see how we can take this formula and transpose the formula onto this window here. So the first thing you want to do is insert your loan amount, which is your principal amount. And we do that by using this insert button. Select the loan amount, click OK, and you should be able to see it here. The next thing that you want to do is insert a times attribute. So on your keyboard, just insert the times attribute. And now we need to compute this figure, which is the top line divided by the bottom line. Let's compute the top figure first, which is the interest rate, and then in parentheses, 1 plus the interest rate to the power of n. And little n basically stands for the total number of months, and that's going to be your loan period. So what we need to do is add two sets of parentheses. And inside the first set of parentheses, we need to calculate that interest rate. So go ahead using the Insert button add your interest rate. And what you need to do is you need to divide that by 1,200 because that's 12 months in a year times 100. And this is how you're going to compute your interest rate. Next, we insert one more times attribute because we want to take the interest rate times this amount. But the first thing we need to do is insert a math function called power. So let's come down here, insert that. And in between the parentheses, what you want to do is say 1 plus and then add two more parentheses. And once again, we need to calculate that interest rate, which is little r. So take the interest rate and divide that by 1,200. And then outside the parentheses, add a comma, and then insert your field for loan period, like this. And that's how you compute the top line. Then you divide that amount. Let's add the parentheses to begin. And then we're going to insert a function called power once again. And in between the parentheses, we do 1 plus. Again, you want to add two more parentheses to calculate the interest rate. So take the interest rate, divide that by 1,200. 
outside the parentheses, comma, and then insert the loan period. And finally, outside the parentheses, just say minus 1 and then close your parentheses. And that's all you have to do. If you verify the formula now, you'll see that it's a valid formula. If you click on Preview, you will see that computation after you add your loan amount. So let's say 20000 Interest rate can be 1.9, and you will get to see your monthly payment over 72 months. If you change that to 36 months, obviously it's going to be much higher because you're trying to pay off that loan much quicker, and this is going to be your monthly payment. Let's clean this up a little bit. Let's just have two digits after the decimal, and let's also include a dollar symbol. So back inside Caspio, for monthly payment, click on the formatting button, custom, change the format type to currency, say two digits after the decimal, and let's include the dollar symbol. And one more thing that I want to do, instead of seeing a blank value or a null value, I would like to replace that with a default value of zero. And we have a miscellaneous function for that. So if you click here in the beginning, click on the function again, scroll down until you see miscellaneous functions, and you're going to find something called is null. Just remove the closing parentheses, and at the very end of your formula, put in comma zero, and then close your parentheses. Once again, you can click on the verify button, and now when you click on preview, you should be able to see that zero. And as you make your entries, let's say 20,000, interest rate 7.0, you will now see your monthly payment over 72 months. Now, to get the total cost of the car loan, again, it's very easy, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. All you do is take the monthly payment, and you times that with the loan period. So if you go back to Caspio, under total cost, change that once again to calculated value, and you don't have to insert that formula all over again. You already have that computation. This is now going to serve as a nested value, so all you have to do is insert now the monthly payment, add your times attribute, and then insert your loan period. And that's going to give you your total cost of the car loan. But let's clean this up just like we did before. So let's click on the formatting button, change that to currency. We have our two digits after the decimal, click OK. And then once again, we're going to insert that is null value or function. So here it is, is null. Delete your closing parentheses because you want to wrap this amount inside the parentheses, add a comma zero, close it, verify your formula, it looks valid, click on preview, and you should now be able to see both of those computations. So let's try it one final time, let's say 15,000, interest rate 5.5, and you will now get to see your total cost of the car loan along with the monthly payment. Thanks for watching this video, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, don't forget to subscribe, if you have any questions or comments, please leave us a message down below. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel and also our knowledge base at howto.caspio.com for even more videos and articles to help you with the learning curve. Thanks for watching and have a great day.